So even before discussing about keto diet, let's first try to understand what exactly is keto. From where does this word come? So basically the word keto comes from the metabolite, the molecules inside our body which are formed. They are called as ketone bodies. Now to understand that first we have to see how does the body create those ketones. So let's understand that. Now the body creates ketones whenever there is lipolysis that is the fat starts to break down and provide energy to the body. It is as simple as that. Whatever fat you have stored in your body with the, in the form of extra energy whenever that fat is broken down and utilized as energy the body does make ketone bodies. So in one of my previous videos I had explained that what causes fat gain what causes uh, what uh, situation makes the body store fat uh, as a subcutaneous fat in the fat cells or the adipocytes in the body now two types of situations one is the blood glucose level is high so here you can see i have mentioned this and the other situation is less blood glucose so our body has two hormones which balance the glucose level in the blood so now let's talk about the two situations in one situation the blood glucose is less okay and the other situation is that the blood glucose elevates it's very high so let's talk about this green part is a good good situation where the blood glucose level is going low why it is good uh, we all feel that when the blood glucose level goes down, uh, the body lacks energy. Yes, definitely it lacks energy. And that is where this process starts so that the body can utilize the stored fat. So now let's consider this situation. The green line. So consider this as a seesaw. Okay. It can happen both the ways. Now here in this less blood glucose, the hormone insulin goes down. That is the level of insulin goes down and the level of glucagon hormone is going high going up now this glucagon hormone if the body has more glucagon produced in the blood then it triggers it triggers this process of lipolysis this is the process which gets triggered so once this lipolysis process is triggered then these let's say this is the fat cell this i am depicting as only one fat cell there are multiple fat cells let's say this is a fat cell and the lipolysis process has started from the fat cells whatever triglycerides are already present now as i have shared in my previous videos that the fat cell has no limit it, it is unlimited it can grow and expand itself uh, with the number of triglycerides coming in now let's say this fat cell has triglycerides so after this lipolysis process, the triglycerides gets divided into two parts. So there are some biochemistry, there is some biochemistry happening. Certain enzymes are responsible to break this down and divide the triglyceride into two parts. One is the fatty acids. So as we said, triglycerides. So there are three fatty acids which gets from one triglyceride molecule, it gets divided into three fatty acids and one glycerol. Now the body has already created two energy substrates from the broken triglycerides. This is a very natural, normal process of utilizing the fat which is stored in our body. And this is how fat loss happens. Now these two energy substrates are already ready now there is a lot of process after this so when the glycerol is already created this glycerol is a kind of a precursor of glucose so this glycerol as fuel is now utilized for creating glucose now let's go back here the whole story started because glucose was low but what the body is doing 
it is utilizing its own fat stores and creating glucose so now this glucose is again going in the blood again elevating the blood glucose till the body requires it now this glucose as the body's normal process will be uh, given to the liver it will be given to the muscle cells and it will be also utilized for the red blood cells because red blood cells compulsorily mandatorily need glucose to uh, work so now let's talk about the triglycerides what happened to the triglycerides so once the three fatty acids are released from the triglyceride it uh, through the blood blood stream it goes in the liver and the liver then converts into these molecules uh, first it gets converted into acetyl coa which is the basic uh, base of those ketones ketone bodies and after the acetyl coa is converted into acetoacetate acetone and beta hydroxy butyrate these are the three molecules three ketone bodies which our body creates from the fatty acids so whenever triglyceride is used up for energy in the body this is the process this is the normal body's physiology there is no other option to this it is not that the body uh, tries to use the triglyceride or the fatty acids in some different way as per medical books as per the science this is how it works now these three are different ketone bodies and since when a person is having a diet rich in fat and protein and deprived of glucose this is the process which continuously happens and that is what is ketosis so these ketone bodies are then used up in different ways so the acetoacetate is uh, uh, released in the urine it goes out of the urine uh, out of the body in the form of urine the acetone uh, is released from the body when you exhale your breath and beta hydroxy butyrate is then utilized to generate energy in the body so this again goes in the blood and then the uh, body utilizes the cells uh, there is a entire different process happening after this but this is a substrate energy substrate for uh, creating energy that is atp for the muscle cells so friends now we have understood what happens in the body which creates these ketone bodies now let's consider the exact opposite scenario here uh, when when we discussed about the fat loss or use using utilization of triglycerides the scenario was that glucagon was dominant and insulin was low why because the blood glucose level went down now let's consider the exact opposite scenario that is the blood glucose level is high so as i have drawn this red line this exact opposite scenario happens and instead of using up the triglyceride there is more production of triglycerides due to the high glucose level and this fat cell adipocyte cell uh, sorry adipocyte uh, gets more triglycerides inside the cell and exactly opposite happens so the more the glucose the triglycerides keeps on adding here so that's the reason when you are uh, on a high carbohydrate or high sugar based diet the body cannot lose fat it is very difficult to lose fat only in the right situations right circumstances the body will use this stored energy which is stored like just like a fixed deposit so friends i hope you like this video and the information which i have shared if you have any questions regarding this topic Uh, please let me know in the comment section and i will try to answer the questions or take it as a topic in my next upcoming video thank you very much